Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists uh, professors and adjunct professors in reviewing uh, their employment contracts uh, or appointment letters. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about is an adjunct professor considered self employed? Uh, in short, in the vast majority of situations, the answer to that is no. So uh, if you are an adjunct professor, you're likely going to be classified as an employee, which means you're going to receive a W-2 at the end of the year, and any taxes uh, throughout the year will be withheld from whatever your ultimate compensation end, ends up being. Uh, if you are a 1099, that means you are classified as an independent contractor. You'll get a 1099 at the end of the year, and then no taxes will be withheld you will be responsible for paying those taxes either uh, quarterly or at the end of the year. Uh, it, there is an IRS 20-factor uh, test that kind of determines whether someone is an independent contractor or an employee. And in the academic arena, it just doesn't make a lot of sense uh, to have an adjunct professor classified as an independent contractor. So a few of those factors would be uh, does the adjunct professor have control over uh, how often they teach, when they teach, when the classes would be? Is the uh, you know school providing the classroom and supplies and scheduling and administrative support? And in almost every scenario, the answer to that is yes. The the academic uh, you know organization is going to provide all of that, and so it's very unlikely that an adjunct professor would be classified as an independent contractor. Now, let's say an adjunct professor maybe is working, um, you know, part-time doing some uh, counseling uh, or tutoring or something like that. Well, in that scenario, it probably would make sense to be an independent contractor. And then you could always create an LLC, get an EIN from the IRS, create a bank account, and then you could, um, use that as a way to deduct a lot of the expenses associated with being a professor uh, or as I said before, a tutor or a counselor, wh wh whatever you want to call yourself. But if you're working for an academic facility, it's very unlikely you are considered self-employed or a 1099 independent contractor. Now, if you have uh, an appointment letter, uh, employment agreement uh, or independent contractor agreement that you'd like reviewed, you can always contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us through our website, shellylaw.com. Um, <clears throat> if you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel as we release videos every single day. I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.